welcome you into EPAC All Access, Washington Patriots edition, as we welcome you to Charlestown, West Virginia, here at Washington High School. As we get set for Patriots practice, Nick Verzalini alongside me, Colin McLaughlin, and Spencer Dupuy. And guys, a Washington team that finished 2-8 and eight last year. It's a new head coach in Terry Ray who comes over from Berkeley Springs and a new offense as well as the traditional kind of run first offense out the window more of a spread look this year for Washington so a lot of excitement for this group but um, obviously you're coming off of a disappointing season so a lot of uh, question marks heading into the year yeah a lot of question marks and you mentioned the spread offense that means they're actually going to utilize receivers for the first time here in quite a few years on more than just maybe 10 occasions throughout the season that means you got to have guys that can have skills to catch the ball, and you got to work on that during camp. you got a lot to work on, obviously. Quarterback, we don't know exactly the situation that it's going to be with quarterback because they don't have a clear-cut quarterback that can run the spread offense coming into this. Uh, but there are some young young kids that are coming in as freshmen, sophomores, that can potentially see playing time this year at quarterback. And, and I think the – Kind of looking at the players returning, I would say the sta- the kind of stable thing from this year to last year seems to be the offensive line and defensive line. They're bringing a lot of guys back. Yeah, and we know that they were the solid part of this team last season, so hopefully uh, you can win a few games because of the line and its impressiveness. And you just really need to up your offensive production. That's something that Washington didn't have last year, averaging under two touchdowns a game when it came to points and then almost – allowing I believe I think over 30 points a game last year defensively so you, you you need changes you need guys to come out and truly trust this rebuild with Terry Ray and hopefully when we get to talk to coach Ray we see or hear that there's more guys out on this team because that's something that Washington has really struggled with historically is having guys come out and play for this program yeah coach Ray uh again coming off of a tenure at Berkeley Springs last season 0 and 10 the year before that was a good year so i mean I believe six and four yeah uh and you know with that being in his resume kind of turning around a program in his first year but then the struggles in year two made it a little bit maybe of a surprising hire considering you know the season he had had before but i think that first year and what he was able to do with that team if he can replicate that here in Washington I think that would be a huge lift to this program that hasn't seen consistent success they were five and five back-to-back years uh, you know heading into this previous season when they went two and eight but haven't really sustained any true success so coach Ray's gonna have to do that and he comes in and and like we said it's probably gonna be a young team offensively not really certain about the quarterback position that offense and defensive line though having a lot of guys returning Uh, That is a good way to build a football team up front and and win the battle in the trenches. Yeah, and you were really looking forward to this team because Rodrigo Delgado, especially with a new coach coming in, you were hoping to see maybe how he does with the new system. However, he's now at Jefferson. He has decided to transfer and play for the Cougars, so it will be interesting to see who steps up for this team. Will it be a guy like Brock Meadows or will it be Asafo Mensa, one of the linemen trying to lead this team and build for the future I I don't think we see a huge jump this season but I want to see some building blocks put into place for the next coming years for the Patriots yeah and I think when you kind of talk about a Patriots season you always like to talk about their Thursday night game week one against Hedgesville that's no more because the EPAC athletic directors got together and said let's kind of run this for the most part like a college football season where you play your non-conference, out-of-conference, out-of-state first, and then you play your conference games uh, towards the end of September through the end of the season. So their schedule goes like this. Week one, they're hosting Page County out of Virginia. Then they're hosting, I uh, believe, JTHS or G- GTJHS out of Frederick, Maryland. Then uh, Frankfurt. They're going to Frankfurt. They're going to John Marshall in back-to-back weeks. They'll host Hedgesville September 22nd. They'll be away at Spring Mills on the 29th, October 6th. They're going to Martinsburg. Then they're going to bye week. And the next week after that, they're going to Hampshire. And then they're hosting the final two weeks of the season. They'll host Musselman and then the Jefferson County rivalry in, in, uh, in Jefferson. It's not a 
crazy non-conference schedule or anything like that. I feel like there's some winnable games in that non-conference. Obviously, you look at the conference play and and just based strictly off last year, you wouldn't necessarily favor uh, Washington in those games. But, I mean, they did come out last year week one and had a lead over Hedgesville. So there were some moments last season where this team showed some potential, and we'll have to see if they can – do some better things this year and actually finish those games and get those wins. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you look at this schedule and they start off 2-0 because Page County, a team that went 3-7 last year, and then Governor Thomas Johnson, a team that went 1-9 last year. So with this new offense, can it give you a boost if they actually have it down going into week one, get those two wins, start off hot, and maybe see where things go from there? Yeah, so definitely excited for the Patriots season. We'll continue here on EPAC All Access after this with more. The Joint Commission, in conjunction with the American Stroke Association, recently awarded WV Medicine Berkeley Medical Center advanced recertification as a primary stroke center, which signifies WV Medicine's dedication to fostering better outcomes for patients and demonstrates that our program continues to meet critical elements to improving outcomes for stroke patients. WV Medicine Berkeley Medical Center is committed to providing patients the highest quality stroke care in the region. After a car accident, what do you get when you call Mansion Ferretti? You get more experience from a local law firm with over 115 years of combined service. More respect from a team who treats clients like their own family. And more fight because we want you to get every dollar you deserve. Experience, respect, results. If you've been injured, that's what you want in your lawyer. And that's what you'll get when you call us. Car accident? Get more with Mansion Ferretti. 304-264-8505. Nothing goes better with football than chicken. From Pee Wee to the big boys to the wing T formation, a hearty meal of 12 pieces for $12 is just what the boys need to be at their best. Oh my, fumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Omaha! Omaha! Rock's 12 pieces of chicken, just $12. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. Welcome back to EPAC All Access Washington Patriots edition. We're now joined by the head coach of the Washington Patriots, Terry Ray. Coach, uh, your first season here at Washington, what's the transition been like for you? Uh, it's been good. Uh, I definitely like having turf field compared to a grass field every day and not have to walk. Well, we walk a little bit, but it ain't as far as I had to at Berkeley Springs. And uh, how do you think that that's going to impact kind of, I don't know how much stormy days there's been but uh, you've been able to actually like if it rained in the morning you're actually able to get on the field we we have not been forced off the field yet uh there was one day when we were doing two a days our second practice they uh brought that uh wet bulb out here it got a little bit hot but we just rolled right over to the grass that was the only weather issue i've had so far since we, yesterday we had a little scare yeah. but it ended up clearing out and we were able to practice so i haven't had that problem yet so and when you look uh this year obviously maybe i'm not sure what the schedule looked like when you'd come in here but the, the ad's moved around the schedule and you guys aren't going to be that focal point like it always been at washington against hedgesville uh but you're playing some uh tough out of conference out of state teams what uh how were you were you able to build most of the schedule or was it already built no you? i i inherited that schedule the only thing that uh, i brought to the schedule was uh we were supposed to play princeton but there was a mutual agreement between the ad's that we weren't going to play the game and i reached out to john marshall and Co- uh, coach caesar up there i've known him for a while from northern panhandle and they need a game, so we signed that John Marshall game. What have you liked about this group so far, getting to know these kids? We're having fun. Uh, they're eager to learn. They're, they want to They wanna change. Uh, they've embraced the fact that we're spread offense now and learning the stuff, and we're crazy flying around defensive football team now, and they're having fun. We're having fun. That's the greatest thing I can say about it, about being about it. I'm here with the kids. It's about the fun. Have you noticed kind of – from the beginning of, you know, you've been practicing now for a couple of weeks, 
Have they been picking up on things when it comes to that spread offense, that guys that are here that are juniors and seniors that maybe at the beginning weren't picking up on it and now they are because they've had a couple weeks to get that under their belt? Well, we did a lot of flex day practices there in April because I had a good bit of them to use. Uh, and then we rolled into June. Most of the upperclassmen are picking it up pretty well. Even our underclassmen are picking it up. The participation and attendance is really good. We, we've got guys showing up all the time. Uh, we're at 58 kids now. We lost two kids. We were at 60. But uh, the participation, the attendance, every Everything's here. Uh, the focal point, them studying the stuff we're telling them to study on huddle. Uh, when we go to classroom talk, we actually talk and make them ask questions, so forth and so on. But they're picking most of the stuff up. And kind of to, to back off of that question, when you said 58, 60 kids, uh, from what we remember from last year, that's a little bit of an uptick. And obviously building a program, you want to get people to buy in. How does it feel kind of knowing that I think there was 30, 35 players last year, and now you're up to – Almost 60. Yes, yeah, so we have a, a large upcoming freshman class. Our sophomore class is pretty large. Our junior class is pretty big, too. It's just our senior class is really small. Uh, but we're repping a lot of the kids. We're trying to keep two groups going all the time so you guys are getting constant reps. It's keeping them interested and not them standing around. So it's upbeat. Like I said, we're having a lot of fun. The kids are buying into everything right now. The big story, I think, with you coming in is the change in the offense with the spread and uh, one thing you kind of had to establish going from wing T to a spread is finding a true quarterback, and how has that competition looked, and who has been the guys that have stood out? Uh, we Right now we're in a competition. Ryan Wentz, a little bit ahead of uh, Braylon Holmes, who's a freshman. He's learning. He, he's got to get a little bit more mature. Uh, both of them are picking up the offense. you got uh, Dom Dignazio, who is a solid backup with us. We have uh, – which is Remy uh, Thaney is probably going to be our JV quarterback. He's a sophomore. He's been taking a lot of reps. Uh, the biggest thing is is those guys learning our verbiage and then carrying over reading the defenses and so forth. And uh, Ryan is a little bit step ahead right now. We're probably going to say Ryan's our guy right now, but Bray's right there. When talking to the to Brock Meadows and to Isaiah Sofomensa, they were kind of talking about how changing the defense to a 4-3 from a 3-4 – has kind of been an advantage for them when it comes to getting more guys to the quarterback. We're a 4-2, not a 4-3. We'll, we'll look like a 4-3. We're multiple. We'll even yeah. show an odd front, too. We'll go into our three-man front stuff. Uh, we're high pressure. We, we try to make things happen. Uh, I, we take a little bit of risks here and there sometimes with our pressure. The kids like it. We're running around. I got them constantly running around. Today they're actually getting a break. They're not doing pursuit. But uh, – we're all about getting to the football. We're, we're reading our keys, we're reacting, and we're getting to the football. One of the strengths of Washington for over the past few seasons has been that offense and defensive line. Uh, what do you think is the strength of the team this it's year? It's the same. Our, our fronts are pretty good. Uh, we got John Brewster back as a senior, and he's played here for three years on the offensive line. Yeah, he's going to do a double role this year. He's playing three tech for us, and he's going to be the offensive guard. But when you have Isaiah and Brock lined up at the two ends, and we've even stuck Garrett Fauble from linebacker down the nose guard to give us a little bit of that uh, more athletic type nose guard guy who has that. Uh, he's a wrestler, so he's got really good hips and can wear, uh, read and react to stuff. Uh, our fronts are good. Uh, we got a freshman, uh, Vincent. Uh, I'm gonna say his right. Hope I can say his name right. Arnakar. Uh, he's looking to start at our left guard. He's a big kid. Uh, he's learning a lot of stuff. Uh, it's our line. Uh, most of our skilled guys are young, so we're breaking them in. That's pretty much all I gotta say about that. In some ways, with it being a new offense, is that kind of exciting to have? It, these guys students? are having exciting. It's like I tell everybody else: uh, we're still gonna run the football. They're they're a solid run team here. These kids can run block like no tomorrow. Pass block was a little bit foreign to them there in June and then early in the August, but they've picked it up. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna run the ball and establish the run game, and then hopefully we can work our pass game off of it. You mentioned having the luxury of having turf, but what are some other things that have been different for you coming from Double A AA to Triple A? Uh, it's it's the more kids at Berkeley Springs. Uh, my first year as the head coach, we had like 45 kids. Last year, we had like 38 kids. But when you have 60 kids to choose from, there you have more depth, more kids to work with, and practices are a little bit easier to run with the scout team and so forth when you have the extra bodies. What are some of your goals for the team this year? Uh, well, we made it uh, packed at the beginning of the year when I first got here. Uh, I'm realistic. I'm like everybody's goal every year is to win a state championship. But when you finish two and eight and you're five and five, four and four, and so forth, our goal we want to win six football games. That that's our goal right now. We want to have a winning season, possibly get our chance to get in the playoffs. But our goal is try to win six games this year. To kind of back 
piggyback off that question, when you kind of come in from the start and help, do you think that having that kind of realistic goal helps the guys going into the I season? think it is. I mean, we always set, I was always taught, you, you set your goals, you got your goals, but then you set attainable goals, goals that you think you can get to. And we sat down and we looked at a bunch of stuff. I sat with all the kids because – well, I, I was averaging about 40 kids in the weight room all off season. So we sat down, we talked. We talked a lot about achieving what we want. We, we got a couple guys that want to make All-State. We got a couple guys that want to make All-Conference. Uh, we got a couple guys that are just straight up like, I don't want to have a losing season this year. We, we want to win. So we sat down, we came up with goals, and we think we're attainable. I think we can win six football games. And so Washington hired you, and then they hired Ryan Miller to head the boys basketball yes. program. How big do you think it's going to be to potentially have two kind of resurrection, not uh, not resurrection of programs, is not what I'm trying to say, but it seems like two new coaches could bring big positive impacts to the athletic department. Well, there's already energy. When you walk into the building, Ryan and I, Ryan's got energy. Uh, I have energy. I bounce off walls. Kids laugh at me all the time. But there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of buzz around here right now that normally isn't here, everybody said. Uh, we, we scrimmaged John Hanley last week, and some people looked at us and were just, like, surprised what we did. It's just, it's all about the energy. It's all about the high school experience. I'm like, if the kids can have fun, get that Friday night feel, the real Friday night feel, crowds pumping, everybody's happy, that's what it's all about at the end of the day you mentioned winning record being the goal four playoff teams last year from the epax it's obviously you know it's a competitive yeah believe me it's one of the hardest conferences in the state how do you get on their level we're going to try to get there right now we're working they're the biggest thing was was work ethic, change the culture, change the work ethic, change all of that. There was attendance problems here before we, we've re- like fixed that. Uh, the kids are learning the offense. Now it's all about them. We can only put them in places to succeed. Now they got to take the next step. If that's going to happen, it's up to them. We're just going to put them in the right spot. I'm good. All right, Coach, thank you, and good luck this season. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. That does it for this segment of EPAC All Access. This is Eric at Hancock Chevrolet. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hancock Chevrolet, it is that easy. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hancock Chevrolet will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. Why waste your time in a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Cumberland to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hancock Chevrolet absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HancockChevy.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want, and your new ride will be delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Have you been smoking? Uh... I can smell it. Hickory. I'm going to watch you smoke the whole pack. Shut now and save at Orsini's today. Have you been smoking? Uh... I can smell it. Hickory. I'm going to watch you smoke the whole pack. Shut now and save at Orsini's today. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. We welcome you back to EPAC All Access with Washington Patriots. Brock Meadows now joining us. Brock, uh, excited for the season coming up for Washington. You guys uh, had kind of a rough year last year, 2-8, and but it's a new offense, new coach. What are some things that you're seeing out of Coach Ray and what he's brought to the team? Well, you know, I really think all the different plays and the whole new playbook on offense and defense is really just a big step up from last year. You know, we just a wing T last year, just run the ball, play after play. The pass plays this year are really going to add a different aspect to our team on offense and um, defense. A bunch of different coverages. Got a great got, got a great D line. So I think both sides of the ball were pretty pretty set. And for you, you've been around here a couple, a few years, I believe. You're senior now, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, so you've been here 
and now you're here for this final your final season's the first year under head coach Ray mm-hmm. and uh, obviously bringing in a few things but uh, you would say if you're looking at the roster you're probably one of the leaders on this team what have mm-hmm. you done kind of to help the transition for the younger guys on the team um, I'm really just trying to make sure everybody knows what they're doing um, you know a lot of kids the freshmen especially we gotta pay attention more you know not everybody knows what they're doing yet so me of being as a senior all the rest of the seniors we've really just been trying to make sure everybody pays attention knows what they're doing and get all the concepts down how do you feel like the team has uh, adjusted to more of a spread system compared to what you were running last year I, th- I think we've been doing pretty good you know we got all new plays everybody's learning them everybody's doing great you know we just had our first scrimmage and I think we started off a little rough but as the scrimmage went on we we really we really uh, knew what we were doing and um yeah, like I said, everybody everybody knows getting the hang of it now. So what have you seen from the guys at quarterback? Because uh, we don't know who your quarterback's going to be yet. I don't know if you guys do. We haven't mm-hmm. talked to Coach Ray yet. But mm-hmm. uh, what uh, what have you seen from the young guys playing quarterback? Oh, well, Ryan and Bray, they're, they're both, they've both done uh, really good this offseason. Um, Ryan, I think, probably will start off this season. But, I mean, if, if he keeps it up, I mean, I'm sure he'll be a starter throughout the season. But Bray, Bray – um, has a chance to take it over any time because he's he's done great this off season as well. And defensively, what what are you seeing from the team so far? Um, like I said, our defensive line I think is our strong suit. Um, a lot of strength and a lot of speed on the defensive line. Um, the, our linebackers, they all the calls are smart, and um, our DBs, they're fast. They they just got to get a little better coverage, and then I think our defense should be perfectly set. And uh, for you. Uh, we see that you you, t- you play tight end. You're going to mm-hmm. be, I'm assuming, less of a blocking tight end, more of potentially getting the ball yeah. receiving this year. How's that going to feel for your senior year? Well, you know, I'm, I'm ready for that. I'm, I've been waiting for that all four years that I've been here, you know. Uh, I, I am able to block. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty good blocker as well. But once I get the ball in my hands, I, I'm ready to go. What are you most excited for this year, your senior year? Um, I, I'm just hoping we go far, you know. I, th- I think the team that we have this year is capable of doing that. I think we have a bunch of a bunch of teams on our schedule that we are capable of beating. So, um, yeah, I just think I just I'm just hoping hoping to go six and four at least this year. What are some goals for you individually? Um, definitely to get um, receiving yards on offense, and I'm really hoping I just I'm really hoping I do good on defense. A bunch of sacks, a bunch of tackles. So, yeah. Do you have any plans to play after high school? Um, if I get offers, I'll probably just choose one of those. But if not, possibly walk on at Shepherd University. But um, yeah, hopefully I get to play off um, after high school. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you. Good luck of this course. season. Thank you, guys. And this is EPAC All Access Washington Patriots edition. We'll be back with another player after this. At Carter Myers Automotive, what we do today will tomorrow become what we've done. That's why Owners Just Do More no longer defines us. Our work is never done because what we live by doesn't have a finish line. We care. Our company of owners is moving lives forward every day by finding more ways to care before, during, and after your purchase. Because when you're happy, so are we. Carter Myers Automotive. Proud to be the owners who just care more. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a control force system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. Hefley Motor Company, just off I-81 at 993 Hedgesville Road, is a family-owned and operated business providing the Eastern Panhandle with the highest quality pre-owned vehicles and customer service since 1997. Hefley is a pre-owned Carfax Advantage dealer. We're proud to be your partner serving the community. You're local, we're local, so why not buy local? Call us at 304-267-7172 or see us at 993 Hedgesville Road. And if you want to sell your car, we buy cars too. Check us out at Hefley.com. Hefley Motor Company, a nice place to do business. One of the questions lawyers get asked the most is, what is my case worth? 
I'm Steven Skinner and this is my brother Andrew with Skinner Accident and Injury Lawyers. The truth is it's very difficult for a lawyer to pinpoint a number because every case is different. We get to know each situation and we'll give you an idea of what your case is worth and why. The sooner we get involved, the better we can do getting you the compensation you deserve. Google Skinner Lawyers or go to SkinnerWins.com. We'll treat you like family. We welcome you back to EPAC All Access. We're now joined by Isaiah of Safo Mensa. Isaiah, heading into this season, new head coach for you guys, new offense, new defense. What's the transition been like for you? Uh, it's been pretty good, uh, learning a new offense and stuff. And I'm going to be one of the key players to the, the team. And you mentioned uh, being a key player on offense. Obviously, you move from a, a wing-style offense to a spread-style offense. A lot of different things are happening at that point. You're going to get guys that are going to play receiver a lot. What are your positions going to be this year? Uh, I'll be playing uh, left tackle and uh, defensive end. So as a left tackle, obviously, uh, it's kind of a, a key to an offensive line is left and right tackle. What are you? What are you? What is your? What are you most looking forward to playing left tackle this year? Uh, just protecting the QB's backside. Offensive line's kind of been the strength of Washington over the past few seasons, especially when you were a run-first football team in the wing tee. Obviously, it's still, you know, it's important for every team. I think you win the games in the trenches. Uh, as a leader on this team and being up front, part of a really solid group, what are you looking to, I guess, help this team be successful this year up front? Uh, with our run game. Just, I think our blocking game is pretty good, but we just need to work really well on our run game and run blocking. And defensively, what are some things that you've seen from the guys, and what do you think is kind of the, uh, I guess, the mentality or focus of the defense this year? Uh, just hit the guys, uh, everyone huddle to the ball, and make sure all 11 has her to the ball. Been seeing on, uh, I believe it was Cole Fields and Co., that you were kind of named as a guy that could be an upcoming leader on this team. What does that mean, kind of, to be, like, named as a potential leader? Uh, just... Get people in the right mindset. Uh, if anyone's struggling, just try and help them. Like, do anything that they need help with. What are some of your goals for this year individually? Uh, get quite a lot of sacks. Uh, hopefully make All-State or All-EPAC first team. It's a goal of mine. Do you have plans to play at the next level? I do. I do indeed. And you're only a junior, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you'll have two more years. Uh, what... Uh, you, you mentioned obviously a new defense. What are kind of the new things on defense that are happening? Uh, we're not a three-man front anymore. We're four-man front, so that's pretty pretty good. How does that impact your personal game? Like what you do as trying to uh, rush the passer? Uh, it'll like give us more people to rush the quarterback, and that way we have like more people to do other jobs instead of just two other people. What are some things you've tried to work on this summer to improve your game? Uh, my speed, uh, aggressiveness, agility, my strength, power, everything to go into defeating an uh, offensive lineman. When you look at this uh, team this year, what are kind of your expectations for the team and what are some goals? Uh, I hope that we don't like point fingers at each other if something goes bad or do any of that. Just try and play as a team, hopefully get a lot of wins this season. It's really my main goal is just getting wins. How have you tried to be, I guess, a leader on this team to keep the guys together and make sure that you're not pointing fingers and, and things can go well this season? Uh, just if you mess up, just it's fine. We we can learn from it and fix it, and that's all we just need to do. What have been some things that you've liked about playing for Coach Terry Ray? Uh, I like his mentality. He's a very hard coach, and, like, he'll – He's got some strengths. Good. All right, Isaiah, thank you for joining us on the other side of this break. We'll have more. This is EPAC All Access, Washington Patriots edition. Laura. Hey, Laura. What's with the sunglasses? Ouch. The word is spreading. Bechtel Jewelers is home to some dangerously brilliant diamonds. See the difference at Bechtel Jewelers in Inwood. Sunglasses, Sunglasses not included. included. 
I'm Jonathan Bodwell, Bodwell Insurance Solutions, your local Medicare and life insurance agency. We are here to help you navigate the Medicare maze. We represent all of the major carriers, and you do not pay any more to go through us than if you go directly through a carrier. But if you go through us, you have a local professional to help you with all your Medicare needs, not a voice that could be in some other part of the world. Bodwell Insurance Solutions, your local Medicare agency. BodwellInsuranceSolutions.com or 304-283-0864. I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Brown Funeral Homes and everything will be taken care of. Find out more online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. It's the excitement of NCAA Division II football on TV10 featuring the Shepherd University Rams. He'll throw it. It's intercepted by Harrison. Dante Harrison is Mr. Touchdown on defense. Join us on Saturday, September 2nd, as the Rams kick off the 2023 season against Southern Connecticut State at Rams Stadium. Kickoff is set for noon with pregame coverage beginning at 11.30 a.m. right here on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. You're on TV, make it loud. That was soft. It's no fun when the linemen are up there. No bucket steps, foot fire. Catch the ball, Seabass. Catch the ball, Wyatt. Jeremiah, don't anticipate. Watch the ball. Get it, MJ. Two hands. Use your fingertips. Kenyon, run. Run. Open your hips and run. You want to be a linebacker, you got to do what we have to do. Get it, get it, get it. Get in front of him. MJ, get out of the way. MJ, can you get on on time? Not island time, please. TT, rip with your right arm. Don't let it sit out there. You know you can grab more than one ball. You can grab more than one ball. No, you, okay. You don't have your brother back here catching them for you anymore. Yeah, I know. Ryan went, you'll never be out there. I don't know why you're even going out there. Guys, rip violently. You're throwing an uppercut. You're just ripping through it. You're knocking the arms off of you. There's going to be a big old lineman there. You ain't running around him. If you run around him, you're going to cause a gap. Welcome to the back, Canyon. MJ, you can get on my time or you can stay on your time. Yeah, well, let's go. You got to rip. You can't turn your body sideways. You got to rip. You're going through and then you're replacing. You're not letting him block you. You're ripping under the block and then you're replacing. I'm mic'd up, so watch what you say. <laughs> Have a good practice. <laughs> Come the balance there at the end, Kenyon. That was better. Uh, did you score four goals yesterday? Nice. Kick like three or four field goals this week and we'll be in good shape. No, no, no. I'm talking about in, in it's game season. Well, you won't be there Friday, huh? Because you got soccer. Uh, it's okay. You know you're on TV. They're watching you right now. Okay, I was just checking. Two lines. It makes it go quicker. Make sure we're coming to balance and sitting. Back up so they can get to the white line. Back up. Canyon, throw your back. Oh, listen to me. Look at me. Canyon. When you get here, either side, you're still sticking and throwing like we do in Indy, and you're running. When you're on this side, you're defense. You're trying to rip through. If you're on that side, you're just offense. You're trying to beat him, so he has to rip through. You got it. I wasn't right. Going right. Shuffling right. You're you're gonna you're going to rip with your right. You're shuffling right, and you're ripping with your right. Hit the line, throw and go, rip through, make the tackle. Rip. There you go. Keep fighting through it. Go, 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 go. Rip, rip, rip. There you go. Nick, try to stay lower. And hey, I know you're five foot eight, but you can go about five foot six. Blue, Work. Don't continue down. We break down and replace. We're at the top, fellas. Going right. You're going left. Defense is going left. Offense is going right. What are they in? Two by two should be what? Two by two should be no. It should be eight, eight, eight. So you're reading two to one. Is TT the same? Yeah. Yeah, he's the 
to the wide open receiver when there ain't no linebacker out there. It, it, because the linebackers are over there in indie drill. Bring them over here. Jeez, the wheeze. Yeah, but there would be a will because that we'd be in cut. We'd be in our four three, so there'd be a will sitting right there where he just threw the football.